I'm okay being stupid. Because I have fun. Holy Mary Mother of Here you are, huddled together like a herd of animals, pitiful monsters, not human or demon. Even tieflings are less defective than you. But I, your master, Savamalaka, can make you better, stronger. I can satisfy your hunger. Ah, oh, starvelings of the dark. No, we are the descendants of crusaders. Trusting a demon would be a betrayal of our memory. Well, who is the next descendant of crusaders who values old legends more than their life? Beasts, monsters in human guise, reveal your true nature. This is the sweet, wholesome flesh of righteous Azimar. Eat underground crusaders. Eat the flesh of the crusader from above. Find your true strength. With every step, you feel like you're watching from underwater as you see mongrels fall to their knees one after another and crawl to the Asimir's body. You hear their fangs tearing through the flesh. You hear the sloshing of blood. You hear the former mongrels snarl like animals fighting over the most tender and juicy bits of meat. Your companions writhe in agony. One clutches at their head, another doubles over. You feel saliva pool in your mouth. A metallic taint awakens hunger in you. The hunger turns to rage. This winged filth dares to try to blind you to its will. It dares to tempt you with the sweet scent of meat untainted by corruption. The wretched must die, die, and still the clarity remains. With you, somewhere deep down beneath the veil of rage and anger, you sense the light trying to break through. Seize the light hidden within me. By sheer force of will, you master your rage, and almost in response, warmth suffuses you from within. Warmth and joy from a simple realization you can win, you can save these people. The power of heaven boisters and guides you. Its light breaks free, enveloping the mongrels, grants them the gift of blissful oblivion. Lowering your gaze, you see a scarlet stain on your chest. The wound has reopened, and instead of blood pouring forth, you see only radiant light. <laughs> The demon convulses in pain when the light reaches him. What are you? Destroy this vermin. Osilla points at you. He's already wounded. Wind dog, kill. I knew I didn't like wind dog. I knew that. And who's Osilla? Did I meet Hosilla before? I'm pretty sure I did. Hey! Life is tough. One dog silently emerges. Yes, that's right, I did. That's why. Okay. I didn't know if she was old or if that was like old stuff or, or something. That's right. That's right. Uh, one dog suddenly emerges from the shadows. I'm no longer your slave, Ursula, but I will gladly kill anyone who pokes their nose in where it does not belong. Really? Let's see. 
How are we doing? Okay. Okay, get in there. Almighty some Seva Malach. Demons protect your mistress. Seems that my guy, my guy, can't help but to die. Okay. Go ahead, get a little healing. Well, Wind Dog didn't did not last too long. That little beach of a person. The wounded wind dog looks up at you. Well, are you going to finish me off? It's not exactly unexpected. Lan turns to her, his face twisted in fury. The lizard half is snarling, the eye narrowed. What else are we supposed to do with you? You're not just a traitor, you're a monster. The young ones believed you and you lured them to a demon and watched them eat human flesh. I was trying to make them strong. What have you done for them? What were you doing while I was looking for ways to bring strength to our tribe? Your useless land. I led by example. I trained. I tried to become stronger so I could go to the surface and maybe do something worthwhile with my stupidly short life. And I will do it. If Hail Xia will have me, I might be the one to bring our whole tribe to the surface. But you? Why would you want any power that turns you into a monster? These young guys and girls, they trusted you and... They were turned into mindless animals, ready to eat corpses at a demon's command. Just lying down and politely accepting death, I will rise above all this, while you still be stuck with your pride chewing on rats. So you've been serving Sava Malak this whole time. Better to serve a strong master than to eke out an existence in the dark hole with no help. I am of the nethers. Our lives are short, but our bodies are hardier than humans. I realized a long time ago that I was capable of more than this life offered, and I followed whomever is the strongest. Lamb looks at Windog in disgust. I thought you were better than that. 
I thought you were proud of your heritage, but you're willing to crawl on your belly before anyone who's even a little bit stronger than you? You're not a mongrel. You're a cave slug. You have no understanding of the meaning of family or tribe. Uh, inspect the wound on your chest. The bleeding, deep wound on your chest is gone like it was never there in the first place. The skin is totally smooth and unmarred. Sighing loudly, Land whispers, it's gone. It was just there and now it's gone. It's got to be some kind of demonic trickery. You need to have a cleric look at that. Uh, good night, Star Sins. Sleep well, and uh, maybe I will see you tomorrow night as well. Hope I see you then. I'm not going to be playing much longer going to finish this out. It's almost 10 o'clock. I've been uh, streaming for two and a half hours now. So, hope you have a good night. And again, thank you for following. Uh, and thank you for all the help. Both you and Implosion Diablo have uh, helped me immensely through my own stupidity this evening. Why did you try to stop us from going inside the maze? You knew we might uncover your secret. Savamalak is always in need of new servants. You'd make a good, as good a servant as anyone else, and then Wendell bursts into laughter. Once you've gone missing in the maze, not even the re redoubtable land would have dared look for you. But then why did you come with me to look for the sword? So I could kill you quietly if you found it and stop you taking it to the village, you idiot. I would have told everyone that you got caught in the cave, but then the Uplanders showed up and I had to change my plans. The compulsion had no effect on you. Does that mean you ate human flesh too? Yes, when dog holds your gaze. Osilla found me in the caves. I was lost and hungry, and she offered me a choice. Die as a nobody, or live and gain the power to change everything. Savamalek tore off a piece of an Azamar priestess thigh. A big, juicy piece. More meat than I'd ever received in a tribe. That was the first time I knew that it was, it was like to be happy. To have a full belly, I swore... To, hold on a second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, I had to deal with some things. All right, <clears throat> where was I? Uh, that was the first time I knew what it was like to be happy to have a full belly. I swore to myself that it would always be that way. Then the madness and rage took over. I came very close to turning into an animal. No better than the weaklings you saw in the maze, but I am strong. I mastered myself. I brought myself under control. I fell that I so I could rise again. Lan looks at her like she's just turned into a hideous monster. You should have chosen death. Dying's better than living like that. You're saying I should have died that day, Lan? But then who would have listened to your feeble jokes? Who would have showed you the best caves for hunting? A predatory gleam appears in one dog's eyes. Who would have made you a man? 
As far as I'm concerned, you died today, Wendy. It hurts, but I'm mourning who you were before, not who you became. Don't ever come near me again unless you want an arrow between your eyes. Um... I could ask Wundog to join us. That seems... I'm not sure I'd want to... I'd want Wundog to join us. And I'm not sure I want Wundog to leave. I mean, Wundog pretty much betrayed everyone, right? Am I wrong here? Am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. I think that Wundog sat around and just well I am an assassin and uh, I'm going to attack let's see no one betrays me and gets away with it leaps back with surprising speed for an injured person you're all barking no bite. Farewell, Uplander. Next time, I won't spare you. Land takes a breath. She's gone, but next time, she won't get away. Damn it, Wendu. Why'd you have to go? And... Anyway, there's no point crying over spilt milk. Give me a couple minutes. I'll breathe and treat in the rest. I need to clear my head. Chief Soul appears flanked by mongrels. The journey has taken its toll on him. His breath is labored, and the sweat is dripping from his bloated face. What? What shish? Anivia gives a low whistle. Well, I'll be damned. Turns out all whole run isn't as crazy as we all thought. There really were demons down here. I should have listened and sent a patrol down here. Damn it! Horgus's lips curls in distaste, and he tries to keep his distance from the unconscious mongrels. Uh, reconnaissance for equal watch. How could you miss? Uh, I can't say that. How's the leg? Aniva, how's the leg? Aniva winces slightly, but forces better than yesterday. Worse than the day before. I'm not going to die. Don't worry. Uh, this place needs to be burned with holy flame. The place is overrun with demons, but that's not the worst part. One dog. She's been working for the demons all this time, luring the young, strong mongrels into the maze. He nods at the unconscious mongrels. We might still be able to save these ones. They can't. They can't. They can't get any stupider. <laughs> really? They can't get any stupider. That's for sure. But they might be meaner than they were before. But I. I suppose all teenagers are monsters in their own way. Soul laughs, but it comes out as a rasp. Ah, lad. We don't waste words on people who don't listen to the tribe. You act a fool, you suffer the consequences. Soul gives a ragged sigh. Windog, how could she? She deceived them, and then she left. What become of us? Chin up, chief. The kids you rescued are safe now. The demons are gone and the traitor's been dealt with. All's well that ends well, I say. You need to look after the young mongrels. I don't know what they'll be like when they come to, but look after them, chief. They went through something horrific today. Not everybody is capable of enduring something like that. It will have changed them forever. I think it's time to get out of here. 
Chief, I think I'm going to lead our visitors to the surface, and I'm going to keep going. Something interesting is happening out there in the world. Maybe it's my chance to do something more useful than skinning cave rats. Soul heaves a sigh. Hmm. You never were one of us. You always looked up. You think I don't see these things? Our life is not for you. Go. But where do you go now? Where is the way out? <laughs> beats me. But there, but these beats got down here somehow. Land searches Hasilla's body and shows you some papers and a key. I don't know what these documents are, but I'm sure this key will come in handy. Cultus dispatch received. Neva's eyes quickly skim over the letter and she passes it to you. Those cheeky sons of a... This is all the information on the cultists in the city. Their meeting places, passwords, the secret hideouts. I think we should show this to whoever, whoever's in charge in Canterbury right now. As soon as we get back to the surface, we'll find out what's what. All right. Slay Hosilla, Storm the Shield Maze. All done. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching tonight, spending some time with me. Thank you for those who followed me. I really appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow for uh, another installment of, uh, of a little bit of Pathfinder, Riot, Wrath of the Ratchets.